So don't you hate when you think you're streaming and then you look down at how long you've been live and you realize 0, 0. 0.0. So you missed a whole uh, four minutes of commentary. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, we're streaming now. A little bit what I was trying to say was that, um, well, not what I was trying to say, what I was saying, but I just wasn't streaming what I was saying, is that I started earlier and I had to stop the stream because what I was doing was really commenting on a hand that I played against a, or at least I posted in a, I was, I was playing in a stud high-low tournament and I posted that for review and I came in second out of 108 players and I got a comment from a, a, a player, an observer named Sean Buscemi and he, Sean stated about one of the hands I played at the, the one hour 17 minute mark and I'm actually going to publish it here, my, my reply but he really was questioning how I played the 264 where I was only going to go low and I had a very low chance of uh, scooping a pot and that was sort of the, the comments where you know it's a double gapper so you need to fill both the high and the low or you need to fill the three and the five to make the straight and also to, to, you still need to catch a low so if you wanted to have a lot of players do you want to have a lot of players in when you're only going one direction and so I reviewed it. I made some comments. I'm posting those right now. They should be ready to publish. It's ready to publish. Let's return to editing. Let's say this is a reply to a reply to Sean Buscemi. And I'm actually going to go ahead and post this, or publish this. I think I'm going to publish it. My video manager. And I guess it's already published. But I, How's that work? It just goes went ahead and published it. It's been uploaded and it is live. I've uploaded a screen. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna stream real quick. Yeah, it's start already up and running. So tournament, and then our looks like it's already up and running. Cool beans yeah anyway so that was the, the point was I, I got these this comment and I thought hey you know what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just um, post it and 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 comment the whole goal for us I think when we're playing cards here is to get better right we all want to be a little better at what we're doing and so I welcome any you know comments questions critiques because that's that's my goal is to is to get better so Yeah, so he he asked about how it, why and how I played this particular hand. So I went ahead and and replied. So you can check that out. All right, so here we are focusing on this event. Our horse. <clears throat> cool. The Mountain Lion Poker Club. And tonight we are playing for prizes. I have a donated $15 gift certificate for Texas T-Bone. What? That's right. Texas T-Bone. So it's good for anything on the menu. 15 bucks. It's like a free steak up there. Free steak dinner. Compliments a 
Texas T-Bone Mountain Lion Poker Club. And for those of you playing in Maryland, I will be offering a UCCS magnet, which I have on my refrigerator right now, which I'll grab during our break, so you can check out the spoils that you're playing for. Sweet beans. Omaha. Got your magnet, Jim. Jim's streaming right now. Cool. So, this is worth a call. Alright, just to check. Hoping to get something. And here I have a king high flush draw. There's the potential low, and I have a pair of kings. Um, I'm going to bet just to narrow the field, because I think that's a strong hand against one or two players, but not against four. But not against four. And now I get the ace, which is not what I'm looking for, and I only got one player to fold, so my plan did not work. I do not have a low draw. I have you have to play two since this is Omaha, and I've got to play two. That's a fold. Trying to hear on stream how how loud this is. It's plenty loud. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Okay, so we got a pair of 10s, which are crap unless I hit a 10 right now. And I did not hit a 10. But wouldn't it be awesome if I got a jack of clubs and actually hit my first ever stray flush on a stream? That would be crazy. It'd be the best. It'd be the nuts. So we're looking at, there's no low. So you have to have three, and you can't, so there's that. Well, I'll play my nine, ten. I mean, that's a flush. My luck, someone's got a queen five, and uh, cool beans. All right. Let me see what we got here. Did I pick it up. Picked it up. All right. I will be right back. Cool. All right. I had to go and uh, get my magnet.
Here it is. The University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. That's for first place if you happen to live in Germantown, Maryland. Bam! A magnet. It's a metal plate I have in my head from the war. Just kidding. Okay, right now I am in, what place, last probably? Nope, second to last. Cool. Cool. A lot of road, a lot of road to, to catch up. Here we go. So ace deuce no load there two four five deuce five so an eighty six for Byron with the low and there's the straight so fifteen thirty thirty I'm gonna raise it because I want to build a pot and I also want a couple more people out. And who do we have here? We have the str I have the flush. There is no low. Flush draw, no low. Still worth a bet. Let's see where everyone's at here. Queen, queen. Cool. I'll pick that up. I'll pick it up. I got my ace deuce here. I'm just going to take Sean Buscemi's advice. I know it's stud high low, but we're going to play this the same way. I'm just going to limp in there. Because I have a ton of options here. I have my ace king clubs for high. Ace deuce for low. And of course, it, nobody raises it. So, got that going for me. Bucket. I'll just check it now. See, if I feel like I raise there, I get rid of at least one person, so I sort of know where I'm at. I need a, a five. Two, a four, no, a two, five, six, eight. So, got the nut low, which is worth a raise, so at least I can get half a Chill Bill's pot. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to get half of Alistair's. Or we're going to quarter the low, aren't we? Ace, deuce, ace, deuce. We're going to quarter it. No. So now we switch to Raz here. <clears throat> So I have a stream going on. I'm watching. This is our guy, Jim Bro. 
he was playing uh, on the other, well, he's on Twitch, but he's sitting down to my left. He's directly to my left. So it's kind of cool. We both are on a four-minute delay, but we can go back and watch, you know, our hands and see how we're playing. Ideally, we're trying to get everybody to stream so you can see all these perspectives playing. I think that's a good uh, a good chance for us to, to get better overall. Cool. What's up? So, Sean, like I said, Sean Buscemi, please, you know, watch this and see if you have any comments and for us, because we'd love to, to have that going. Yeah, I'm just now getting to the point where I'm like... Two aces to my left. I had a seven up. Two aces. No thank you. A four. Uh, no thank you. I have no excuse to, to not win this tonight. I did not win it last time, so... Once again, the magnet. <laughs> the magnet. This is what you want, Jim Bro. This is what you want. The Mountain Lion Poker Club, University of Colorado, Colorado Springs magnet. Take off the price tag so you don't see how we roll out here in uh, Colorado. Oh. All right, come on, Raz. So Here comes the Raz Boom. Two, two, six, seven. I like my two, six, seven here. I'm. This is. I'm. I'm raising this. Or completing, rather. Well, now it's not a complete, because Alistair completes it. So I'm going to go ahead and just see what he gets. Why is the 8 in there? Let's raise it. Pair of threes, still can bet this though, with the ten up. Maybe pair to six, he pairs his threes. Now if I get my hand going, a king hurts his draw. This is a perfect Raz opportunity for me. I have two shots at getting an ace, a three, a four, an eight. Ace, three, four, eight. Ace, four, three, eight. Equity's good here. my hand. So if he's perfect on the, in the hole, ace deuce, ace three, he's probably calling this. But the best he's drawn to is an 86, and it's really hard for him to catch when I have two of his, you know, twos. And so... A 
Hard Times Cafe in the chat. That's a uh, a story. Yeah, that's best left untold. 2006. I was uh, in a bar in Maryland. I'm drinking Route 66 root beer. So this stream is brought to you by Route 66 root beer. I found a candy shop here in Colorado Springs. And we have, um, well, not just candy shop, it's a soda and candy shop. So they have a bunch of sodas from all over the nation that specialize like in, you know, root beer, sarsaparilla, creamsicle, um, vanilla. What's it called? Um, yeah, like a cream soda. So, yeah. And so I'm just going to start drinking sodas and root beers and try out different kinds. So first one, my favorite one right now is Tommy Knocker. It's here in Colorado, I guess. But this is Get Your Kicks with Route 66 Beer. Root Beer. And it is from, I'm going to say, it says Illinois. Bottled with the authority of Route 66 Sodas in Wilmington, Illinois. Wilmington, Illinois. Is Route 66, does that actually go through Illinois? I don't think so, because isn't that a southern... A southern place like a southern highway or does it connect dun 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 route 66 let's check it out man let's see what we can find out about route 66 since nobody's watching I have to answer my own questions in chat I have a 7 a 2 4 we're still playing Raz it does not look good so we're going to go with ch -ch 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 -ch, Route 66 map. What if it actually went north to Illinois? Wouldn't it just be weird? I think it'd be weird. Sure as shit does. <laughs> it does. It goes from... It goes to Chicago. So Route 66 goes from Los Angeles, California, all the way through Nevada, Las Vegas. We knew that. I've been through it in Flagstaff, which is Arizona, through Albuquerque, which I there's a cool casino, Route 66. There's a card room down there in Albuquerque, Route 66 card room. It goes through Amarillo, Texas. It goes through Oklahoma, Tulsa. It goes through Springfield, Missouri. It goes through Belleville, Belleville, Illinois, Illinois, Peoria. It goes through like all of Illinois. I would have lost money on that side bet. You know? Route 66 from LA to Chicago. So here's a stud. If this was a diamond, I would play this hand. King, queen, eight of diamonds, I would play. But I'm gonna let it go and just see what these all, what these jokers do. See what these jokers do. So ace four, Austin is betting. This is not Raz. So maybe he had an, an ace underneath. Eight, Jack, King. I look around. I see a king. Um, I'm not suited three ways. This is not a tier one or tier two hand that I want to get too mixed up with. So this is a fold. Chill Bill folds with his nine of clubs. Austin could raise here if he wanted to represent that ace again. It wouldn't be a bad play. pretty peculiar here. Um, I'm going to raise it just to get rid of Jimbro and play heads up with Alistair. He's on a, a shorter stack and he's maybe defending with a six pair of sixes. So I got three over cards to that six is why I am playing it. I'm going to bet the full out. Yeah, there you go. So I took a hand that I wouldn't have normally played. 
but again position is sort of everything here and when you pair what people can see is very intimidating to what we don't have complete in this aces I will definitely post this week, Jimbro. Calling station, that's his name. Calling station. Why would he fold there? Why would he fold there? So, aces and queens, two pair. Yeah, so, yeah, we actually were talking about Route 66, and that just hit stream, so. Horse, we are now playing the stud variant, which is only the high cards. So, Ken Lo, He says, let's play three of a kind. Let's play some royal flush draw hand. Ace, king, queen suited. Let's play some big pairs. Let's play three cards to a straight, some over cards. The rest of it are tier two, uh, tier three hands, and we're going to go ahead and see what happens with that. Playing for the magnet for our Germantown compadre, Jimbro out of Germantown, Maryland. Love it. Used to live there. For the rest of us, we're playing for a $15 gift certificate to Texas T-Bone. Texas T-Bone. You can't beat that, man. Horse. <laughs> so... Yeah, it says I'm playing like a an eleven dollar horse tournament. This is a no. There's no money on this. We just are playing as part of our club, Mountain Lion Poker Club, out of our University of Colorado here in Colorado Springs. We are a group of poker players that get together weekly for a class uh, on poker theory, probability, basic strategy, bankroll management, advanced strategy, patience, discipline enhancers. You name a topic, we'll cover it, and that's Wednesdays from 6 to 8 on campus. Then we get together Sundays at 6 and Sundays at 7 to play a horse tournament at 6 and a No Limit Hold'em tournament at 7 o'clock. So that's what we're trying to do here, is get better. This is a real confusing spot for Jimbro because we look over at Austin, what's he have? Nothing. He probably still thinks we're playing Raz. Excuse me. I mean, I don't know what he could be playing in, unless he has an ace three under and just goes runner runner on the hits it on fifth, hits the four on fifth, and the sixth on sixth. And Jim Bro right now probably has a nosebleed. He's like, what the f? I'm curious. So an 8-jack-9 is not a hand that I'm going to really commit to. I probably would play it. I, I, I mean, I would play it if it was uh, a diamond. If the jack was a diamond. But 
look out here. I got a three, a four, a six, and a six. Three, four, six. I'm going to go ahead and just pop it. I don't want to play it, okay? But I will for the purpose of picking it up right here. For the purpose of picking it up right here. So now nothing gets better. Everybody gets rid of their queens are out there. Queens are cheap. Let's throw it out there again. And think positively. We're going to hit a 10 because we're going to hit a 10. It's really the only way that we can win this is if we can pair, pair what we have up or hit it. But we're not going to pair the queen because the queens are pretty much low. I mean, there's no more queens. But now I can check it. I don't have the 8, 9, 10. Six. I need a seven. There's a seven. This whole thing's bullshit. Six twelve in the pot, though. <sighs> Here's a nine. Here's a nine. Does he have a nine? I believe him. Do you guys believe him? I believe him. All right. So now I'm sitting here in fourth place. What are we in? I'm in first. So I went from worst to first, pretty much. So there's our, uh, you can see on the tournament where we're all at. And that's me. So this is the hand Jimbro's playing. He had tens in the hole against Austin. Austin when he had that two ten four five up. And I, I it, for me personally, I mean, I, I'm calling just because I want to see what he has. You know, it's so early in the tournament right now that the blinds are sixty one to twenty with a twelve ante you might be able to actually see some more cards. No, I agree that hand is totally confusing, Jimbro. change the tagline on Twitter here or not Twitter but what am I on Twitch limit stud So I think we're going to go up to a uh, high low here in a second. Kings and threes, aces and sevens. Wow, what a catch, man. What a catch. What a catch. All right, so this is stud high low. And this is where I want to really focus on what Sean was saying, you know. 
would you raise in this position or do you want to have people um, playing with you? He would say it's not a scoopable hand, so why play it at all with two jacks behind you and an ace? So, according to Sean, we're not playing that hand. Which, I'm not saying condescendingly, I'm actually saying thank you because I would have probably raised a hand. <laughs> Completed. Route 66, root beer. Hmm. Root 66. That's good. Root beer. You better send me a case of it and it'll be in my stream. Alright, so let's change, let's go to my video manager, and let's change the title of this from $11 horse tournament to, um, what, I don't know, Mountain Lion Poker Horse, let's do that. Mountain Lion Poker Club. Weekly horse tournament. Yeah, I'm not going to put UCCS on here. Update information. Excuse me, man. Why can't you update my information? The hell. Why can we not update my tournament information here, right? Oops. Horse club. Horse club. The hell's that mean? Horse club. Let's do this thing. Here we go. High low. High low. Gosh. Queen. Three. Seven. Seven up. It's not good. Queen. Ten. King. 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 Everyone's going high. No. Couldn't do it. Jackson too suited. I don't know why I want to. I'm not gonna fold it, man. Cause I'm gonna complete it. I complete it to get these people out of there. Cause now if I hit a seven or a jack, I'm like golden. It's like I think Alistair just uh, quit. What happened there, huh? Queen, queen nine, that's a raise or complete. I really, I, I, I do this, I'm going to reply to Sean. Sean, I do this simply because I want to get people out. I want to get all these low draws out and just keep the ace in there so I, I know where I'm at. 
okay, and then fold fold. And now it can we can go heads up and I can catch the high and give him the low. Or he, he can scoop it with an ace if he's playing an ace, but uh, the way that he's been playing, I don't think that we really can play it. Check, check, bet. Check, check, bet. So now it just looks like hearts, you know? Looking like hearts can get this almost looking like diamonds to get away from it. He's gonna hit a. He's gonna hit an ace for high, and he's gonna. He's got the low. Nice. Watch me get a heart. Could you imagine going just Fourth Street hard, Fifth Street hard, Sixth Street hard, Seventh Street hard? That would be awesome. But nobody's actually gonna do it here. Nobody's gonna show me. Show me some love. Show me some love. Heart. I can't bet it. I'm weak. Can't even beat the fives. Fives and queen. He has my other queen. I'm going to see the ace. <laughs> I had a call to see it. Don't try that at home, people. Try that at home. All right. You didn't? He says you didn't. He has about the flush. You didn't have the flush? He says, did you fold three fives? That's funny because he's like, you know, when I had all the hearts up there, it really did look like a decent hand. But in the end, it's not a decent hand. Here we go. Let's play some limit. Oh, let's play some limit. Hold them. Chill, Bill. So aggressive. So aggressive. So Byron has taken the the lead here. Nine minutes until he played.
ace eight here is a you know top pair top kicker with two two spades on the board it's, it's a tough place to continue Now I like it. Top two. <laughs> Showed my ace eight there. So, who knows? King four is no good. Let's fold that. King four. So we got Jimbro to my left. Jimbro at Jimbro is streaming right now on Twitch at Jimbro. So you can watch his perspective. Mountain Lion Poker Club. And then you can watch my perspective sitting right here. Hope to his right. Hopefully we'll get other club members to start streaming so we can all have access to each other's starting hands. This is pretty lucrative when you actually can hit when someone raises, but it's just too early. To, I, I mean, I say too early to get... Uh, at what point in the tournament do you want to kind of get risky? Do you Is it too early or too late? For me, it's it's too early. I, I would do that later on when I have a little bit more chips and a little more command of the table and kind of have a feel of how the cards are kind of hitting me. I know that that's probability speaking, that there's no chance, there's no way you can dictate how the cards are hitting you. But we've all been in a tournament where we could argue that just based on the results, right? I could totally just be like, look, I haven't hit, flopped a set. I haven't hit a flush. I'm just card dead. So we all have used that term, card dead. I would actually have called this with my open under 8, my 10 pair of 10s. I would have done that. And I would have lost. I wouldn't have hit crap all well on that one. What is clips? So I want to figure out on Twitch, how do I keep them on Twitch? How do I make my videos available oh I guess you have to upload them to to Twitch just like you have to upload them to YouTube that it doesn't automatically keep your videos that's good to know now I know who knew alright we're on break so I will see you guys in five minutes. What? Yeah, we're.
cool. Looks like we're coming back here in less than one minute. Jimbro is streaming on uh, the horse tournament, and I have our um, No Limit Hold'em tournament here. So what I want to do is open up another table. That's, so that's this table right over here. So I can go like this. I can go, oops, unlock it. So I can go, boop, and show you a hand that's happening here, or vice versa. So if I go, boom, gone, this will be horse. So I'll say, okay, let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six of us playing horse, and no limit. So I'm going to stick with no limit right now. That's what I'm going to do. Last week, Austin, 128 Beams, won both of these. So this week, we cannot let... So Operation Take Down Beams starts now. Starting now. Cool. So we have a King 5-4 of Diamonds. King 5-4 of Diamonds. But I folded my 6-7 of Diamonds, so that sucks, right? Four five of hearts. Aces and fives, and he came over the top of me. That kind of sucked, right? Now I have an ace jack here. I'm going to check this because what happens is one of these jokers decides, well, I'm going to raise. Jack. What did I bet on 10 Jack? What happened? Did I show my hand? I must have showed my hand before. Okay. 10 Jack.
Yeah, I'm trying to play these two hands at once. It's hard to like commentate on both of them, so. Yeah, I don't make my flushes. What the heck? All right, so the one on top is no limit, and the one on the bottom is limit. Okay, so you're only seeing the no limit. So if I look over here and I see this, then I know that that's no limit. So, so we can play that one. 9-4 off, no good, no good. No good. If I close this out, we'll see this is uh, Omaha. So here is the limit Omaha for the horse tournament that we're playing. And this is the no limit table. So Omaha, no limit. Omaha, no limit. This is no limit. Fold. We were playing in the 6 o'clock tournament. The 6 o'clock no limit. I'm sorry, 6 o'clock is horse for the Mountain Lion Poker Club. And the 7 o'clock is the no limit tournament for the Mountain Lion Poker Club players. So just like on eSports, how we some people are playing League of Legends, Clash Royale, some people are playing Hearthstone, some people are playing, I don't know, Overwatch, Call of Duty, I don't know what people are competing on these days. But every hour we'll just play a different game. So that's, we have a team right now that specializes in horse. We have a team that really is specializing in, um, in uh, some other mixed games. Cool. So four or five student. What's up, Kyle? I like the 4-5 suited. I'll pot it just to get rid of pay layers. I don't want anybody else in there with a better flush draw. In this group, people in this group people don't really like pot bets, so Just like that. I went ahead and showed my hand. Ooh, to tulip. To tulip. Flush draws don't do very well when the, you have these cards, you know? But it's worth just throwing out money. Because. Did I say it's worth just throwing out money? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> it's worth just throwing out money. It's worth just throwing out money. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two, six is a high, but I guess he could have a flush. He lost. Four, what? Fucking flush, man. At least I got my low back.
Yeah, t Tulip. I forgot his name, but uh. Here we go. No limit is on top. I, I remember this. All right. So on my horse tournament, five, six. The only hit low that beats me is ace deuce. So let's play that. Ten four, ten four. Should have raised a little bit more. I don't know what I was really thinking there. So I hit the ace. I just thought beams might bet this for value. That's a value bet, right? So let's just go here and let's see where you're at. He did this a lot in class. We were talking about, you know, value betting and, you know, how do you play. I don't know, but I've got first in this one, and I am first in, am I first in this one? No, who's first? Trey, Kyle. You were in Omaha High Low. Omaha High Low. So, Omaha High Low is the O in the horse. And we have uh, less than a minute before we go to Raz, which is my s my specialty. I'm going to call myself a, uh, a, a, a horse. And when it comes to horse, I'm going to be a Raz specialist. So let's go back and check out my 8-3 off and how I'm going to play this. I'm going to show you something about this club. Okay, this is a raise to 150. One, 200. I'll get one caller. Probably Byron. And now, we got two callers actually. It's gonna go check. I can go a little bit over half. And Byron will fold, he'll call. Ah, I picked it up. A lot of these guys are firing all the way to the river. So I went ahead and showed my hand on that one too, just because because uh, I want them to call me, you know? All right, this segment is brought to you by Big Hunk, Big Hunk Candy Bars. If uh, you are... Uh, 
if you work for Big Hunk, send me a case of these things. I love them. My brother used to get them in prison, so, uh, you know. That's kind of how I got turned on to them. I went to visit my brother one time in prison, and he had some Big Hunks. It's pretty crazy. Ace, five. Jack for Raz, no good. Look at this hand up here. Look at these guys going to crazy with the uh, diamonds. I'm going to eat this, not in your ear, but I'm going to start eating this. Queen, six. No good. <laughs> Alistair, I'm going to check it. Watch this little check here. Boom. That was a good hand. Should have won a lot more than that. Right? Should have won a lot more than that. King Jack up there. Look at that. King two pair. King and the Jack. King four off. No, thank you. There's a min race coming from. What did he say his name was? Scott? I don't remember. Alright, here we go. 
Let's reload. Reload. Big hunk. I'm eating it on stream right now. That there should be like a rule against that. I totally understand it. That's why I don't want to really eat it again. In fact, I just lost a viewer. Like I went up to five, and then I bit into the big hunk, and then I go down to like four. Could have lost them all. Let's watch the game, man. What's what game? Monday night we got some game on tonight, right? The jack hands are going right now. All right, so sports. I think the uh, I think Arizona's playing the Patriots and if my numbers without looking are correct um, I would have bet Arizona I would have bet yeah no Atlanta Falcons Atlanta P Patriots I would have bet Atlanta minus three or plus three whatever they're getting so let's see where they're at oh no Atlanta's losing zero to seven so I'm not gonna bet sports anymore Just gonna do just gonna do poker. So last time Watch this, Byron. I'm gonna check this to Byron, and he's just so aggressive right now that he wants to to, to bet it. Ah. I tried. I tried to set my little trap, man. Like, what? He would have been so pissed. I would have check raised him. He would have been like, you a hole. this uh, $15 so $15 for uh, Texas T-Bone if you win the horse tournament if you are from Maryland you win the dun -dun -dun -dun, Colorado University of Colorado Colorado Springs magnet I still have that magnet from my uh, the metal plate from the war so Where are we at? What are we playing here? What are we playing? 10-4? Folding that. Let me show you what I got going on over here on the Raz hand. We've got a King 10-3 from Jimbro bets, and an Alistair comes over the top with a f the 9. 
with a 9-5, pair of fives, 9-5, let's say he has ace-deuce. He's actually favored drawn to a 9. If he's drawn to a 9 against a king, uh, uh, against someone who's drawn to a 10, he's, he's favored. And maybe he knows that. So why not go? You've got his two cards, 10-3 beat, with your ace-3 or ace-deuce. So, boom. Now what? He made his 10, and you made your 9. So if he checks, you bet. This is Raz Strategy 101. It's actually probably 201. 401. It's pretty high-end high, high -end shit. I mean, he's going to check to you, right? So if he checks... I would have raised there. I mean, dude, that's... A monster hand. <laughs> yeah, he missed, he missed a raise. This is a five, seven. If I got a six, I'm gonna go one time just for my heart six, six of hearts. Fuck you, stud. Now watch six of hearts hit right there. Nope, jack. Oh, six of hearts already hit to my right. Kings and jacks, wow. Yes, I don't. I'm kind of. So now I get the kings right, but does that really make me feel better? So maybe I can hit a spade and kind of get people to slow down. The reason I raise here is for that reason. If I raise right now, then the next round will go check, 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 check. I can get a free card. Unless he hits an ace, which now what? Probably drawn dead. Would the seven have helped me? No. Man, I would have totally lost money on this uh, freaking Patriots against the Falcons. I would have taken the Falcons. I would have done that. I would have lost again. Hate football. Ah. 
This is a still stud, but if it was stud high low, that looks so good, doesn't it? But the power of an ace up. Let me show you what an ace up can do for you. Well, nothing, nothing now. in the middle of the pack. Why don't I get something going here? Let's go back up here, check out some No Limit Hold'em. In time for eights, an eight nine versus king nine. How do you play deuces here? How do you play deuces? I'm gonna call. Ooh, I should bite into my candy bar so I get a uh, deuce. Nope. Wouldn't have worked anyway. Maybe I'll get a deuce. Bring me a deuce. Boom. Bet 300, though, so I can get out of here. Don't bet a hundred and so that's pff, crazy. How over is that, huh? How over was that bet? What are we doing? What are we doing? Two minutes, we're going to be stud high low, and these hands are going to start paying off, man. Jack seven is no good. Nobody likes pair of deuces now. Any jack here? I don't know why Chill Bill ain't betting. He could beat my beat my cards. I'm beating my cards. Jimbro asks about, you know, people stand up quite a bit actually when they want to um, It's not too bad playing live. It's not too bad playing live. I said people do get out of their seats a lot. So I have nines and deuces. I don't know what Alistair's doing, but he must have a king under there. Got the king on the end. On the end. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Gosh, that sucked, man. Alistair catches a three outer to win that hand.
few bats I can raise, so I can raise any bat rays. Let's see what happens here. Well, I'm going low on this one, this table over here, if you want to see. This is kind of getting out of control. Um, I, I, com I think it was completed. I raised it. It got re-raised. And now we sit with our three beds here. And remember, you need an eight qualifier. So this pot got huge real freaking fast. And I need to get lucky. I mean, I need a cut. I need his deuce. I need that three. But how are you folding? You know, you're not. Okay, I like my hand now. I like my hand now. A three to scoop this would just be. Amazing. A three to scoop it, or give me a three, a six, a seven, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. Fucking worst card I could get. Oh well. Oh well. Sucks. You need eight or better. So, unlike Raz, where you can, you know, 
eight or better. I like Raz, where you can just play it. Wait, what happened? One, two, three. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was 7th Street. I don't know why I thought that. So I'm going to win half of it with the 75. I really thought that that was the end of it. I I it, I was already complaining. This root beer is some strong shit. So I am in third place in this. About average chips. All right, biting into the big hunk. That's what she said. So. <clears throat> we are now into round three so let's see who writes that first right 
Round three. It's our third time through. One, two. Wow. Okay, so what did he have on that, you think? He had sixes. Pocket sixes. Pocket. He's going to get it back right here, though. Six, six. Hmm. Hmm. Six, six, nine, nines, dude. I was going to say I could taste the meat. King five. I will load up on salad. So we have a player all in with Austin. Austin's all in with eights. Uh, the ace. Man, he's got a lot of pocket pairs. It just ain't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
plane. Plane. So in three minutes, we're going to switch over to our um, horse event number two, which is the H, which is which is Omaha. Ace high wins that. Wow. Okay. All right. Seven three suited. Seven three suited. Oh, look at all these players, man. What the heck? I'll watch this. I'll watch it. I just want to see, you know, it's going to call the round, but I think he has to complete it, the five, the, the 600, or the 500 small. Nope, he can just call 410. Check, check. Check, check. Boom, jacks. God, over pair like that. Four-handed pocket pair. I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? He'll raise me here, and I can get away with it, away from it. King nine. Oh, fuck. Open enders, man. Can't hit an open ender. Can't hit an open ender. Let's go watch a little bit of this over here. We had uh, Tertulip. Tertulip. Raise pre flop, so I guess that's nice, I guess. What are we doing? We're on break, man. Let's do this break thing.
Can't believe I ran all the way back in for that one. Let's see. Cool. All right, Jimbro, how do we go about getting us this uh, field pass so we can go to watch a game with you, you know? We are going to raise it. We are checking. Let's check our volume levels here. We're good? Good. All right. <clears throat> let's call 470 with an uh, ace 8 because it's going to come up all spades. And then the turn is a spade. It's like runner, runner, spades. Look at this, man. If I was Chill Bill, I'd shove right here. Aces and catches a low. Wow. Jim, bro. It's a chance at the magnet. <laughs> Don't jinx it, right? Okay. Here's the, uh, Ace deuce is a raise, my friend. I also have the king nine back draw action like that. So I'm drawn to the nut low, and I am drawn to the second flush high. This doesn't help my cause very much, but I'm going to go ahead and bet it just to. Maybe he folds. Maybe there's still fold equity at three to one pot. There shouldn't be, but there is. Okay. I can raise Jimbro here, and I know he he because he really wants that magnet, so I can raise here. Byron. Everything's saying no. But I still click call. We'll just see one. I just want to see. I, you know, Omaha is so difficult post or pre-flop. So let's, you know, we need. Oh, look at that. Yep, here was kings. Here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this aces and six. And of course, all spades come out. Ace as well, look at that. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's not getting more money out of me, so.
had a 79, so I could have had an open ender straight on that other table. Ace high wins that. Wow. Give me something. Let's work some magic here. That's not something. Could be magic, though. Let's go to coin base here. Ah, coin. Wrong keyboard. Coin base. Trying to check out Bitcoin and go to my authenticator. Where'd my authenticator go? Dang it. Dang it, Jim. I guess I deleted my authenticator. Sign in to my coin base. Sign in. Jack six is jack shit. That's what I call it. So crazy right now. Six thousand for Bitcoin. Can you believe that? Nine five suited. No, thank you. Six off. Look, we all still have a hundred bigs, isn't that crazy? Force Ace Four, that's good. Uh, drained right now. What are we doing? Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to set up people with Bitcoin. 
because I got my account, the uh, UCCS poker site got shut down because of the link to my funding source. So I'm trying to figure out a way to open up a whole new account and kind of have our own Bitcoin thing going. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me invite Mountain. Gosh darn it. Mountain Lion Poker Club at gmail.com. Mountain Lion Poker Club at gmail.com. So if I do the invite. I don't know. I think it's the same thing, though, you know. So why are you so angry, man? Just to a 76 and he has a I think he has a made five yeah here you know I have a made eight right and you could be drawn to an eight under but I don't know um, I'm just playing the magnet the power of the magnet I mean, it, it's not a bad call either way, so... Shoot, now look at this hand he's got. Made a seven. Six, five. Fuck. Oh, so sick.
All right, seven Dewey. That's a fold. I'm going to go ahead and feature this game over here because we're um, kind of losing players here. Oh, you won't be able to see the hand that we had before, Jim Bro, I guess because I was on the no limit table. But I had a 76. I had the... Um, um, maybe go back and just say what I had here. I had the replay. So you had, yeah, three ace. Let's check this out real quick here. <clears throat> So it's playing out. You can see where I was at with my ace here. Then I have a. I'm drawn to a seven. I made an eight here, and under I guess you had a pair of aces with a three. So now you hit the nuts, and I'm just kind of second place all the way. Let's do this. Come on, Lowe's. Give this man a king. Give this man a king. Sixty five into a King Ten. Got some work to do, boys. Got some work to do, boys. Hmm. In the last week, Bitcoin is up. shit ton of money. Ace three. Three handed. I might pick up nine right here. Nine ace. Oh, I just got coolered. Flopped the top pair, king. I'm uh, pretty much going with this hand, aren't I? Jesus, crime in here. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys.
This is it. Jax. If he wants to catch up, he's gotta be... It's gonna be expensive. No heart. Wow, it was a tough hand. <laughs> Power of the magnet. Oh man, now you get an ace. Queen. So I can beat your ace and I can beat, I'm saying, because you just have an ace and you're forced. I played this wrong. God, it makes me so upset. So right now I need to wait for a stud high low. I feel like a stud high low is you know split pot where I can get back in the mix, start building up my chip stack a little bit. Um, This is it. Gotta play it. Wish me luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready for bed. Man. Oh man, that was that was a good one.
All right, I, I still got some chips here. You know, it's I, I can pick my spots and I can. And I can maybe pick it up. I just gotta pick a spot. Spots here. This isn't one of them. Ten queen eight four. This is a s limit stud. Maybe jacks. Jack with a king. I don't know. Spade draw. Redraw. Just bet out the 2500 here and hope he folds, but you know, is he doing the math 3 to 1? I'm thinking, nope. Queens, wow. That was a winnable hand. This is this hand I would press in less than a minute when we go to high low. Spade. Can't win it. Let's do it right now. Here we go. Same bullshit. Get a king. Uh, this is it, guys. I mean, ace king has overs. Yeah, let's do it. I get the club draw, ace eight. Take it. I need it. Puts me up over 11. How's that know over 11? I don't want people in. I just want to pick up these small blinds. This is 900 in the pot. I'll take the 900 in the pot. Okay. Come on, Jim. All right, 
I'm gonna turn on your stream and watch. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's four minutes. Four minutes behind. Man, Atlanta. Hey. You might want to check with your testing site early next week to make sure they have received it. You may not see the exam until you're ready to take the test, but you may be assured that your exam has received. Also, if you have some reason to decide not to take your exam this round, please let both the proctor and Lena. Got to take my exam. That's right, cut the magnet. You're gonna have to cut the magnet in half. No way, he says. Jack, Jack, four, queen, six. Like, would he call there with a flush draw with the queen, six of hearts? I bet he would. <laughs> yes, I'm commentating for my one viewer. It's still weird. Oh, <laughs> oh he, he's still here. So, you know, again, back to the, the idea that it's really difficult to um, go in split pots to really take the lead, to really scoop everything, and to, to end a tournament, especially in horse. I mean, if you look back, I would probably say about, of the tournaments I've seen, probably 75% to 80 are won during the, the actual RAS or the limit hold them section maybe because that's maybe limit hold them because that's what people are familiar with playing and know how to kind of swing around a chip stack or maybe just because Raz is also not a, a split pot but also stud high but when you get to Omaha and stud high low it's really difficult you know to to make any progress because I think you're splitting the pot most of the time Like that's a great complete. Now you've got the high, and underneath you probably have, you know, if you're sitting on a three four, you're drawn to a seven low. Now an eighty seven, you just made your an eight. So let's say he caught up, hits the jack, or he has flush. You still get your low with the eighty seven. He just calls. You know. I mean, the majority of the time, this is a split. Someone hits a low and two pair wins high, but he's got that flush out there. And 
Yeah. So, you know, a raise unless you're scooping it, it's kind of like, meh. But he doesn't have a low? Oh, no. There's no low hand? I gotta watch this one, Jimbro, because that's, uh... The flesh just looked kind of solid there. I put you on the low, thought maybe you might split it, but... But you, um, you're still good. You're still good. 20,000 is a lot of chips. It's, he doesn't have a, you know, 1.5 chip lead isn't that impressive. And you'll get, you can get it right back right here. So, y you call if you're drawn to the hearts. You call if you have a king. You could even be sitting on a, an, an ace deuce, ace three for low and be running, running low. But but you need to have a pair of kings to continue here, or a pocket pair. You know, aces, queens, jacks. So it's a good fold. So here we are. Ooh, kings. He showed kings under. So that's a very, you know, these hands that are very deceiving. He has to open with a six. You could complete it, or he just came out betting. What's the bring in? Three. Well, he completed it, so. Hmm. What can you do? Nine brings it in. What is the bring in? 450. So it's the third. But he completes it. It'd be nice if that was an 8, because you might be more comfortable to want to go for the low. But then again, you're just playing. And that's what Sean was telling me about was hey, why play when you can only get one end of it? So a nine seven of hearts. Now you got that ace. pot size, the limit, the pot's there now. <laughs> Don't get discouraged, Jim. Um, I mean, you're sitting on five solid bets, so... Okay, now you're sitting on four solid bets. And now you're in a game that you know hold him. You're in a game where you can kind of play, but Byron plays super aggressive. I mean, this is, I think, your first time playing with him. But when he gets chips, he plays very, I think he's like, I think he's got like four black belts and something, and he plays like he's a fighter, so pick a spot and make it happen. The time bank. I don't know about the what. What are you? Are you just sort of tilting or gonna get him on tilt? So he shows you the cards to kind of show what he's playing, thinking that he's gonna go with king five every time, and his range is super wide. This is just, you know, trappable 
everybody kind of gets down to where they just don't have any more fold equity. <coughs> The ace made one of you. But I'd be happy with an eight. I'd shove with an eight. That's a tough call for him. It's great. That's a very tough call. You might have picked, even missed a bet on the turn. I think it was check, check, didn't it? So he comes over the top. Well, he didn't. So you bet here, you win it. You bet you win. If he checks, you got to bet, man. Bet. You got it. You got it. I, I think it's like a call just to see if they're what he has. Yeah, especially if you have a diamond here, you have to call. Um, that's all he can do is represent him. You know, he can bluff at it and represent the flush. Nine. Nine. Man, he went that whole way. Get, had a straight on the river, but also the flush. That's just sad. Yep, here comes the raises now. He's got you under 10. He's got you under 3 bets. Alright, this is it. Come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, he's not folding, so... This is the spot where you wanted to be in. It's all in. Ace eight. Let's see what you got. Ace King ten. Oh, good for you. The old club redraw. So he only had two outs. Just like that. Just like that. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, he is showing you a little bit that you can kind of open up your range a little bit heads up, but who knows what, what we're really looking at. You don't really know what he's doing. King 7. It's almost any two cards, you know. And then, you know, he folds here and you flip over deuce 4. If you look at these hands, I mean, how many of these actually go to a flop to... Not a lot. You bet here, ace-jack, hopefully ace-ten, anything. Check bet might get it. Bet might get it. There you go. You got it. Ace Jack. He set a trap. Ah. Dude, that's well played. Ah, well played, Jim. Well played, man. Well played. Well played. Wow. That's, man, that was great. It kind of did, but don't negate the fact that you had a check there. I mean, it looked like a great trap, you know, letting him catch up, too. You're going to earn this one.
set of fours. He says, actually, that wasn't the button I wanted to push. Yeah. I'll turn him along. Mm -hmm. He falls it's a good two to one. All right, we have Jimbro coming back from the dead. This is an impressive comeback. I know one other guy that did it on stream for the Mountain Lion Poker Club. <laughs> so now you get a two to one chip lead. It's a little bit different sitting here, you know. I mean, it's now this is worth a flop, regardless of what you got. Now you're just hoping that you, you know, hit some piece of it. I mean, if you're sitting on ace four, it's like, go. And if you are, it's a raise. If you're not, what are you going to call with? What are you calling with? Hmm. He doesn't show you there, see? What does Byron have there? All right, so now this is Omaha. So this is going to be 10 minutes of just uh, chop, chop, chop kind of stuff. Ten, so there's no low. So maybe this could be a spot where someone picks something up. Someone picks it up here with a ace ten. Could you imagine that? There's a low out here with the ace four. Twenty six thousand to thirty three thousand. Both of you are right in the mix of it.
you know, he's going to push you with the ace, deuce, draws, ace, threes, draws. So, you know, feel free. you gotta, you got to see flops here. You know, there's no lo low draw right now. And you're looking at maybe any king, you know, king eight's good. King queen's a good raisable raising hand. But if you check, he's not he's not checking to you, you know. But now you're five to one on your money. So it's like, what do you want to do? Maybe, you know, it's worth a call if you're sitting on a, a nine jack gut shot. Maybe it's worth a call if you're sitting on a king eight. But you can't lose what you don't put in the pot. Isn't that what they said in the movie? But you can't win either. Final table battle. I really do like Byron's pre-flop aggression, you know. I mean, that's one thing that he does phenomenally well, is that he'll keep going and going and going. It's a five minute break. Cool, five minute break. All right, well, I'm going to switch over and just watch you on your uh, stream, Jimbro. So, good night, guys. I really appreciated the uh, sweat, and I really like the fact that we got a club going, and let's keep getting each other, st you know, stronger, you know? I haven't seen the third break since our first match. Welcome. Welcome to the third break. All right, guys, we'll see you.